hi welcome 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 once again to my channel fox business my name is Ofusu Godwin a marketing professional and a marketing trainer today I have a very interesting topic for you today we're going to be talking about how to build your small business brand online how to build your small business brand online if a small business and you want to build your brand want to build your brand online then kindly watch this video if you are not subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button and subscribe you see building a brand online is not an easy task as you see join me in this video as I take you through how or some of the strategies that you can use to build your brand online the first secret in building your brand online is first of all is to have a high quality product or service without a high quality product or service you cannot build any meaningful brand online have a product that meets specific customer needs or solve a particular problem without having a product or service that meets specific customers needs you cannot build a high voltage brand or a brand with a high voltage online make sure that your product or service is fit for purpose and prices meet audience or target audience economy circumstances affordability and very competitive price don't forget to also ensure that with the services you are providing or even product you are providing or supplying you ensure or you're offering you ensure that you provide the very best of customer service and customer experience customer experience is the new marketing now because a customer that has or develops negative experience of your brand will not come back and will end up becoming a negative advocate by telling other people about how bad your brand is. And believe you me, your brand will not even have the necessary attention and community online. Be prepared to give absolute, continuous and consistent customer service. With this, you are sure of building a brand with a high voltage and a brand that will value or provide you value and reflect on the balance sheet the next thing is to define your objectives any branding effort that does not have any objective might not will not have a source or a force of direction your objective Ask the question, where do you want to be? Right. So what is your branding objective? What do you aim to achieve in building your brand? Let this goal be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timed. For example, your brand your brand goal will be or your branding goal will be to develop brand awareness. On social media in the next six months and generate revenue of about ten thousand dollars and also build a community of about twenty thousand followers on the various Instagram platforms right this is sort of a smart specific measurable achievable and realistic i mean goal your goal could be a multiplicity of objectives sales revenue brand awareness to match competition to increase market share it is important to set an objective that you want to achieve online what sort of brand objective do you want to achieve is it revenue is it just share of voice? I mean, matching competition and so on and so forth. So you need to set up a goal to determine where you want to be with your online branding. The next thing you need to do is to select a defined target audience, which is one of the basic principles in marketing, segmentation, targeting, and positioning. You need to 
build or develop a customer persona. You can decide to build a persona on lifestyle. That's not the lifestyle variables you can talk about. You can talk about those with the bluff effect, those with that conspicuous buying effect, those who want to use things that are expensive that not everybody can use, those who want to buy and show off. You can also segment or build persona based on age, maybe those between 23 and 30, 35, or between those between 23 and 50. Sex, male or female, right? You're talking about multiplicity of factors when it comes to demography. You can even talk about even the family, targeting families. Like I said in my previous video, the family life cycle where we have the dings and the sinks. The dings are married with double income, sinks single with married with single income. We have the empty nesters, those whose children have grown and have left home, and so on and so forth. Right. It is important, as a matter of fact, to also look at even geographic location. Are you targeting urban areas, big urban or small urban areas? Are you targeting cities, big or small cities? Are you targeting rural areas? Are you going international? Right, targeting other countries, or you are going global, you want to globalize your brand. Right, this will enable you to have a focus and to be able to communicate the right message to the right people and the right target audience. This makes you communicate to the people who who, who need your product, who want solution to their problems using your product or services. So we need to, as a matter of fact, define your target audience. Whom are you building the brand towards? Right, this is also another important factor that you need to consider. The next thing here is to define the appropriate online tools and content for your branding program or your branding project. Analyze critically the various tools that you need because the wrong choice of tools and content may lead to waste. There are several tools that you can harness online. You have a website that is very responsive, that is optimized for all types of device, laptop, desktop, mobile phone, and handheld devices. Right. You can talk about social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and what have you. You can also look at emails. Emails are another cost effective way of reaching out to target audience. But it's not that easy. You need to have an email plan. You need to have an email marketing plan. Let's talk about search engine optimization, which also comes down to your website, which involves your website appearing among search results when people search for keywords related to your product we have search engine marketing that is a paid the SEO is not paid it's organic but the SEM paid you have you need to pay you need, you need to pay for appearing or showing up in search results and when people click an amount of money is deducted from your account that you have or the money that you have paid for for the search we we'll just talk about the fact that there's also display advertising. And Google, as we all know, is the key or one of the largest or the largest, I should put it rather, when it comes to online advertising. To so select Google tools such as the Google Display Ads, Search Ads, I mean Google My Business. Which is also good for local SEO. Local SEO is simply when people search for keywords related to your product within a specific location, you appear in search. You appear in search results. We're talking of Google Analytics, Google Search Console. With Google Analytics, it gives you data on where people are browsing your website from, their age. They are look, they are, they are, they are the devices they are using, the pages that they visited the most, and many other insightful data. There's also Google Search Console. 
which is also another powerful tool that can help you with your ranking that is your your your, your website appearing in search results if you register your website on the search console it will give you as a matter of fact the opportunity to get updates on what is happening to your website how well is your website being ranked on google and so on and so forth it gives you timely updates as to issues that are happening there's also the google keyword finder that's another important thing that can help you to also choose the right keywords for your branding project on google research your target audience very well and get to know their favorite platforms or where you can find them which platforms that you can find them on and then reach out to them with your branding effort the next thing we're going to talk about is to align content to brand values to align your content to brand values what are your brand values you see before i even go further when you take google for example or search engines for example and even social media platforms content is key google for example as a matter of fact consider content as one of the ranking factors on the other side customers are also influenced by content so content is important let your content appeal to your target audience let your content communicate your brand values to your target audience what is your brand personality is it a warm brand is it a friendly brand is it a brand that has empty empathy is it a brand that is consistent with providing value for the customer and not just value but positive value also ensure that you use a mix of visuals text graphics photos and videos in your content add call to action for example call us whatsapp us order now get a code sign up email us or even try premium for free these are calls to action that can help you as a matter of fact also get your branding across you should have a clear and consistent consistent message consistent is key in order for you to determine your own fame and be also to, to be so to be also to, to provide value it is important as a matter of fact to have a clear and consistent message build an emotional connection with your customers you see you shouldn't always be salesy every time asking customers to buy a product try to also provide information how to videos I mean educate your customers about issues related to your industry and your product provide them with information data advice and so on and so forth build some kind of an emotional connection underpin your content or your communications with also promotions giveaways and gifts it shouldn't be anything expensive but something small to delight the customer for example tag a friend and get a code mention a friend and get a code refer a friend and get a code you you, you should, should be able to add extra value to your brand as a matter of fact don't forget to also visualize your logo should be consistent and your strap line what the lay people call team or slogan it is what we call the strap line the strap line is one tool that can also help you position your brand in fact it it it, it also accentuates your point of difference right and also as a matter of fact accentuate your brand voice don't forget to always use your brand dress that is your brand colors in every content that you produce as a matter of fact use your content to establish a point of difference right communicate what makes you stand out the solution that your brand has that other competing brands doesn't have the personality the values the experience that your brand can provide that competing brands cannot now let's move on to the next thing the next number to talk about is paid advertising of which some marketers will not agree because most some marketers 
would prefer to do purely organic but paid ads are also very 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 effective when it comes to building your brand online as a small business it is less expensive as compared to offline traditional media right you can do paid for display and do paid for search do paid for social media facebook instagram etc and for social media it is budget friendly all that you can afford method of marketing communication comes in here it helps you to also reach out to the right target audience i mean it takes you down deep down to the right target audience because you have the opportunity to select who to reach out to and based on your persona that you have built you'll be able to customer persona that you have, you have built and the target market that you've chosen you'll be able to reach out to and even go down to niche you can target people even on zip level even people based on office location businesses based on office location and so on and so forth through this effort as a matter of fact you will be able to as a matter of fact also build a community people will like and follow you even though you might have not choose the an objective of paying for getting uh, likes or i mean followers but uh, look, the people who see might also end up becoming community members it is very effective when your business is new some marketers also prefer brand influencers online brand influencers but that is something i actually don't use the most because of the double-edged sword nature of it influencers are good but sometimes you should ask yourself are, are these influencers having the right type of target audience are they qualified leads are they going to generate qualified leads and also what is their reputation so the double-edged nature of it so something like that. but if you are building a brand towards children teens etc where adverts cannot reach out to them then influencers that appeal to these teens could be a good i mean way of reaching out to this target audience ads are very effective and like I always say, they are effective because, see, all these platforms are built by business organizations. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the rest. All the social media platforms are media organizations, and they are not charities, as a matter of fact. So we shouldn't tend to think that we can only just use organic and just be free. But when you pay, I think it's the best. These organizations need revenue to survive. Now, let's look at the last thing I'm going to talk about is to dare to be different. Build a different brand with different reputation. Stand out from the, cr the crowd. It's not a matter of being popular, having a, a share of voice alone, a popular brand. It's not a matter of your logo and your brand dress being seen all the time and people liking and, 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 and following. But what are the psychological meanings? What is the perception that customers have about your brand? Are you the number one customer experience player within your niche on the market? Continuous improvement is very important. Provide absolute, consistent, and rich customer experience. Replying to reviews, taking up comments, giving 24-7 support, having a robust website, that can fit on every device, credibility and avoiding deception, click and bait and the rest. You put prices on your website, when people come in install to buy, the prices are different. Build a reputation, avoid deception, and you will be able to build a brand that has voltage, a brand that has value online. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe. Watch out for my next video.